Lots of people grill, but have you ever tried cooking in a smoker? You just can't beat that great smoky flavor. I'm gonna show you how to use one. So let's start cooking. And one of the great things about cooking with a smoker is you can do it any time of year. Smokers use indirect heat to cook the food. Now it does take a little longer than cooking right over the flame, but it really delivers on taste. Now some smokers use propane gas, some are electric, and some use traditional charcoal briquettes. And different types of smokers vary in operation, so be sure to read the instructions, including safety tips. Now I'm going to use a gas smoker today, but the basic idea is the same. The fire source heats the wood chips, which releases the smoke that flavors the food. Now, depending on what you're cooking, you'll need different cooking utensils. Tongs and a meat thermometer are a must. But before you cook for the first time with your smoker, you want to season it by smoking some wood chips without any food in it. Now, you only have to do this once. Just follow the instructions that came with your smoker. Now, I've already done that with this unit. All right, it's time to prep the food. I'm going to be cooking a pork shoulder. I'm going to use a dry rub. Wrap it in plastic and put it in the fridge overnight. Now remember, smoking takes some time, so I'm gonna get an early start tomorrow morning. Okay, the meat's been in the fridge overnight. I'm gonna let it come back to room temperature. Should take about a half an hour or so. Now in the meantime, I have to soak the wood chips in water, also for about a half an hour, which increases the smoke, keeps the wood chips from burning, and helps release the natural wood flavor. Now it's best to soak enough chips for about two or three pans and different woods give different flavors. Wood chips for smoking are available in large or small bags and in various types like hickory, mesquite, and apple. Now if you buy your wood chips in a package, you know that the wood you're using is safe for cooking. Cooking with treated lumber or plywood is dangerous because they contain chemicals. Once the wood chips have had a chance to soak, it's time to prep your smoker. First, make sure your connections are secure. Then, check your burner for any blockage and leave the door open for lighting. A water tray helps add moisture to the smoke and prevents the food from drying out. Remove it and line it with aluminum foil. Then add some water and place it back in the smoker. Now for the wood chips. Fill the box with your hardwood chips and place it on the rack. Then partially open the vents on the sides and smoker stack. These should be open during cooking. Okay, with the burner off and the door open, turn on the propane tank. Then push and hold the igniter button for about two seconds. Now turn on the burner. If the burner doesn't ignite, turn the control knob to off and check the instructions for assistance. If it lights, close the door and make sure the burner is on high to help start the smoking process. Once the chip starts smoking, you can add the food. Open the door and place the meat on the bottom rack, fat side down. Thick cuts of meat need some time to cook. A good rule of thumb is about one to one and a half hours per pound. And try to keep the temperature between 225 and 250 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, now just let the meat cook and check the temperature every once in a while. Now you want to keep the door closed as much as possible to lock in the heat and smoke. Cook the pork for about two hours on the first side before flipping. Now for side dishes like vegetables, the cooking time isn't as long, typically about an hour or two. Now I've placed some veggies in an aluminum pan. I'll just set them on the top rack. Now if your wood chips have stopped smoking, they've probably burned up. Just add some more. Lift the lid of the pan with some tongs and add some with a long-handled spoon. Now here's a tip. Every time you add wood chips, just spritz the meat with a solution of vinegar and water or apple juice to add some moisture. And if you need to add water to the pan, use a clean, long neck watering can. All right, this pork has about two hours to go, so I'm going to take it out and put it in a pan. Oh, be sure you close the door. I'm going to spritz it again, then cover it in aluminum foil, then back in the smoker to finish. Now when you get close to the end of your cooking time, check the temperature of the meat. For pork, you want it to be at least 160 degrees. Now when you're ready to remove the meat, leave it in the pan covered in foil and let it rest for about 15 minutes. That makes it even better. Oh, and go ahead and remove your veggies too. Ah, oh, that looks great. Now you see that pink ring right there? That's what you're looking for. That's how you know you smoked it just right. You know, cooking with smoke does take a little longer, but the results are worth the wait. For more tips on outdoor entertaining, go to Lowe's.com videos. Mm, that's good.